This weekend, we're expecting a big crowd for tomorrow's Pride Fest celebration around downtown Knoxville. Organizers bill it as an open celebration of music, entertainment, and speakers focused on promoting equality and inclusion of all people. It comes as LGBTQ people have become steadily more visible in our community, but that visibility comes with pushback. With that in mind, precautions are being taken to keep people safe as they celebrate. WAT 6 on your side reporter Laura Holm shows us the effort. The Coliseum is becoming more and more colorful. We're really excited for everyone to come tomorrow and have a great time. Knox Pride has been working on a safety plan with the Knoxville Police Department for months. So that great time can be just that. Every year it feels pretty safe, I think. I think we have a great turnout of people that are like-minded and caring, allies. The police are here for us. They're here to protect us. They're ready to work with us. KPD will be managing security, traffic, and crowd control along the parade route. At Pride Fest, officers will be checking bags and there will be metal detectors. Well, we don't want to talk about tactics and operational um, plans too closely. Uh, suffice to say, we have a robust plan. Uh, we have a, a strong response and there will be a strong, high visible appearance by our officers that will be seen by everyone. Now, if you plan on marching down Gay Street in the Knox Pride Parade, there is a safety measure that's new this year and it comes down to what you're wearing. Everyone wristband it just to make sure everyone is who is supposed to be there is there. I think being able to identify that yes, this person wants to be here, this person should be here, should make everyone feel very safe, and we know that they're here for the right reason. KPD saying if you see something concerning, say something. Pulse nightclub in Orlando, uh, it kind of changed everything in terms of, of these type of events. So uh, we're there and we want to make sure it's safe and uh, we feel comfortable that it will be. Part of planning includes what to do if severe weather hits. Rain or shine, parade. Festivals still happen no matter what. If there are thunderstorms or inclement weather that is threatening to people, uh, we urge you to go to the nearest parking garage and hopefully it will pass over soon. But that's that's the big thing. Keep yourself safe, keep your family and friends safe. In Knoxville, Laura Holm, WATE 6 on your side. Everything kicks off tomorrow morning at 1030. That's right, and this is a look at this year's parade route. The lineup will start on Jackson Avenue near the Morgan Street intersection. Uh, they will follow that up to Gay Street, where the biggest crowds are expected, and then we'll follow Hill Avenue to end at Pride Fest and in front of the Knoxville Civic Auditorium and Coliseum. The Pride Parade starts at 1030, leading up to noon when the celebration gets underway at the Mary Costa Plaza by the Civic Coliseum. The festivities run until 8. We've posted more at WATE.com under the As Seen On section.